Welcome to the Riff Raft. Welcome aboard, everybody. My name's Brandon. And my name's John. And today we're watching Kansas City Confidential. It's not a musical. I guess we just decided to do this. We're going to be... So we can't keep this up. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you know yep. about this uh, movie, John? Uh, pretty much just what I saw on Google. <laughs> I found it because it's a public domain. Uh, 1952 uh, noir film. Uh, it has Lee Van Cleef in it. You Might didn't find this. <laughs> no? No, this is one of my pitches. We we asked the nice people on Mystery Science Theater 3000 on Facebook to, like, uh, give us some hints as to what to riff, and this was one of them. So I guess oh. it's not mine, either. This is... <laughs> no one can oh. claim to have... Fit. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that, sorry for cutting you off. <laughs> he can do it, folks. He's just rebooting. <laughs> uh, it has Lee Van Cleef. There we go. <laughs> Good, the bad, and the ugly. Brandon. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a uh, public domain movie. So we can show it on YouTube with our commentary stuck right in there. So you can just hit play and watch that. Yeah. Uh, you will still hear us doing a countdown. That's just because Brandon and I are still recording remotely. Yep. So... Let's, Let's get to it. Let's get ready to Canvas City. <laughs> I call it Canvas City. <laughs> I heard you, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get ready to Kansas City Confidential. There's the energy I like going into a riff. Let's do this. Meh. <laughs> Whatever, <Yeah>. man. <laughs> Not my real dad. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, two, one, go. Foster Brand Cleef, L.M. Drake Siliti. Perfect pronunciation. <laughs> I like SX. I know you like SX. <laughs> I like SX in excess. <laughs> They're gonna feel real silly when they realize the whole credits was filmed over the camera looking at the ground. What is, why is it hopping around so much? Earthquakes? <laughs> this was probably produced in uh, Hollywood, so maybe. Mm -hmm. In the police annals of Kansas City <laughs> are written lyrics. <laughs> Concerning the exploits of criminals apprehended and brought to punishment. Brought to punishment? <laughs> That's going. not the phrase. <laughs> But it is the purpose of this picture to expose the amazing operations of a man who conceived and executed a perfect crime. The true solution of which is not entered into any case history and could well be until KFC comes in. Jeez, yeah, he really had to read that quick at the end. <laughs> Kansas City! It's Arizona! All that building. <laughs> crime! Like, what Kansas City is this, like, taking place in? Because there's, like, a couple, there's aren't there? There's a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's like the oh, whole man. Springfield enigma. Hmm. 
Where did he put that cigarette? <laughs> Just put it on the floor. It's a smolder. <laughs> the guy's burnt up three delivery trucks this month alone. <laughs> he burns up one more. He's on the delivery bicycle. <laughs> Is this a guard delivery? Thanks. It was getting hot in there. <laughs> yep, still a watch. Okay, so he's timing something. Yep, still hot. Ten seconds in, still hot. <laughs> Thirty seconds in, still a minute in, hot! This is good data. <laughs> Does he have to read all of this out so slowly? <laughs> After how they made us scream through the introduction text? He's just blasted right now, I think that's the problem. The person <laughs> left at... One o'clock, yeah! The person arrived at 10 a.m. Okay! It'd be funny if after all of this meticulous planning, he just went in guns blazing. <laughs> Maximum casualties. Pete Harris. Pete Harris is a slob. And a, apparently a chain smoker. Yeah. Both things not to strive for, kids. <laughs> Is he playing dice with himself? <laughs> That's a man on the edge. <laughs> Look how disturbed he is by his telephone ringing. Oh no, he knows that a bad guy's calling him, John. <laughs> Hello, Pete. You got a wrong number. Well, that should have fooled him. Oh shit. Pete here. <laughs> <laughs> You've reached the Pete hotline. trying to tell you, you got it wrong. I'm doing the telling, Pete. I didn't crack to the clerk. Your name's not Johnson. Listen, whoever you are. I'm your one chance to get out from under. 300 grand and clean getaway out of the country. Who is this? If you're interested, come to room 302, Baker Hotel. 10 o'clock tonight. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, I, li I liked that entire scene, but probably for not uh, what the director wanted me to like it for. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we're having a lighting problem again. Well, it's a noir film. Oh, it does have that. Okay, it's got a it's got a pass. Invasion of the B-Girls had no excuse. <laughs> and one day, hopefully, we can show you that softcore porn that we ripped. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. He didn't bother putting his mask on before the guy came in. Masks are uncomfortable. Change, eh, Pete? Still jumpy. <laughs> that was a sucker move burning down your boss. You had him all wrong. He never crossed you. But you're a guy who shoots first and <laughs> thinks afterward. 
Don't look at the camera. Style, I'd almost choose the cops. Even if it is a first degree murder rap. It's lucky I spotted you. What's so lucky about being dead? I'm gonna take care of a guy just a little too smart. Take off the mask. Come on, take it off. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> wow. I mean, if someone threatens to shoot you, I'm pretty sure you're allowed to do this. <laughs> take them take them on a one-way trip to Bitch Slap City. The chair, the gas chamber, or just a rope? How do I know that line you handed me on the phone's on the level? Your voice don't even sound the same. Neither will yours when you put on a mask. Who else figures in it besides me? You ask too many questions. And I'm not getting any answers. Smack, smack, smack. I who I work with. When we make a split, and who I take my orders from. Smack, 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 smack. <laughs> All right, I'll get out. Well, boss, I think we had a real good meeting there. You know the bind I'm in. I came in, you beat the snot out of me, and I leave. You said 300 grand for my end. At least, free and clear. Only you do it my way. Nobody sees the others without a mask, even when we make the split. And I decide it looks like he's wearing a paper place. bag. That makes it all food. <laughs> kind of does. Okay. You got yourself a boy. Now what? Stay in your room. Keep out of sight till I call you. <laughs> All right, I, th I, th I think it would be pertinent for both of us to know what's going on right now. <laughs> okay. Don't get any wrong ideas about me. I don't shove around this easy. I'll give you a chance to show me how hot you are on the job. If he was gonna forget, time loser, Tony. <laughs> Not yet, I ain't. The police know you drove the getaway car. This time it's life and no chance of parole. This time, Tony, you go up for life under the Habitual Criminal Act with no chance of parole. You don't have to tell me the score. And it's a deal. Okay. But no dames, understand? No dames. And look, friend. If you don't like it, don't knock it. What? I'm not quite sure what happened there, but okay. Yeah, we gave that one a chance, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's the coolest man in the universe. If I can you back of those trick cheaters taking the cops. This job I fully about, anticipated there was another pair of sunglasses under there. You're a cop killer. I mean, I was hoping. You killed one on that last deal. I don't that guy looks like Sean Astin. I, the warden when they I don't know who that is. Uh, from Stranger Things or Lord of the Rings or that one sports movie. So I'm still listening. Those are all horrible, horrible shows, John. I... I Rudy, is it? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, he's Rudy. Huh. Oh, he looks that... like Rudy. Yeah, I don't... Okay. I don't, unless gotcha. Sean Astin's like a hundred. <laughs> aged very, very well. <laughs> he aged by, you know, becoming younger. Why don't you watch where you're going? Why don't because you eat my I'm dick, lady? Incons okay, yeah, that's better. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Be here until we're demonetized, folks. <laughs> Watch it happen live. <laughs> Hi, boss! How many cops are just chilling out in trunks? <laughs> trunks that need to be opened from the outside. That... <laughs> Those are called prisoner. <laughs> this 
they just leave the keys in the... I'm not sure how old-timey cars work, actually. <laughs> well, they would have been real easy to steal. <laughs> Got him. Uh, oh. What? Uh, okay. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pew, I know pew, how to pew. take care of it. <laughs> this is how guns work, right? Here's the description, Mac. All a car. By, a 117. Attention all units, a 117. Here's a description of the suspects involved in the armed robbery of the Southwest Bank. They were mean men, men in a bad car. They're driving a light delivery car belonging to the West Shoot Indian on Sheriff sight. Forest. Use extreme caution. All are armed. Oh, that was kind of cool. Not bad. I mean, for the time, right? Yeah. Wait, this trailer's a dead end! No! <laughs> Masked vigilantes or robbers or what's what's going on again? I, <laughs> I honestly have no idea. They robbed the bank. So good. Oh, they're the good guys. Got it. Okay, tap the brakes. They're exceptional citizens. Okay, it feels like he sped up to get to that. <laughs> wow. Bank robbers really taking this chill. Oh, it's the other oh, it's the other delivery man. Very nice. Hmm. Oh yeah, the cause they went first, remember? Yeah. Nice. Come on out, one at a time. With your hands in the air. Alright, you Last time you deliver milk in this city, or whatever it was you were delivering. Open what? You're crazy. There's nothing there but flowers. Flowers. Close. I was close. That guy's scared of flowers. <laughs> Open it yourself. Flowers. Come on, come on. Come on, boys. Shake them harder. Shake the information out of them. The road 300 miles. They ain't dropped this bar now. They'll never get us. What do we make the split? The split's what I'm gonna talk about. Four kings. A pat hand. That's just what we're holding. Hang on to those cards. I've got everything covered, but in case something does go wrong and I can't make the payoff myself, the cards will identify you to whoever I send with the money. Say that again. We'll cut up the money when I think it's had time enough to cool off. Right now is good enough for me. Let's cut this horsing around. How far do you think you'd get with hot money? you think money? I've Every got the money on me? Looking for us. I'll take my I told you the mask stays on. Sure, you told us. <laughs> oh, damn! What a bitch That was a hell of a pistol that whip. He flew across the room. Can you. you can't even rat on each other. Because you've never seen each other without those masks. I made you cop proof and stool pigeon proof, and it's gonna stay that way. Mm. Talk for money. All right. I got one of these for each of you. With enough money to keep you comfortable while you're waiting. I wanted not money, not a brick. I really yeah, need to sprinkle in stupid me, proof into my vernacular. Which way's it gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> really a good way, good way to build a team up. You'll find tickets for where you're going. Oh yeah, these are going to, going to be lifelong country. friends. Stay there <laughs> till I wire you where and when to come, and keep those masks. You'll be wearing them at the payoff. Can I wear any paper go. back over my head? Open the door. The police are waiting for him. <laughs> pew 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 pew. <laughs> he just kicks them out as they're driving. <laughs> 100% of the gun goes to Pappy. Holy crap, he just jumped! <laughs> Ow, my legs! 
<laughs> also, I was dropped off in the middle of the desert. It's odd that you'd stop at that florist next to the bank twice in the same morning. Once was all I was there. Then the woman who identified you was a liar. No, she's telling the truth. I did bump into Then the other witnesses who swear your truck was the getaway car, they're telling the truth, too? They're wrong if they say I had anything to do this with the This poor flower delivery guy. Truck. Uh. I wouldn't know. I wasn't there. You were framed then, is that it? Yeah. yeah. And that year you spent in the pen, did anyone frame you on that rap? You wasted your time, and I'm sad. He was the arresting officer. <laughs> Look at my sad face. Look. Just because I got in a jam over a gambling bet doesn't make me a bank robber. Oh, the boy wants pity. What about the truth? <laughs> if I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't be here now. How's this for an answer? There was no other truck. Listen, I... Ah. <laughs> Lieutenant Backhand. <laughs> Andrew's here with the insurance company. He's willing to give you a break, aren't you, Scott? He knows we are. Same questions, same answers. You can save your breath. It's my job, Joe. After all, we've got to make good the loss. In fact, we're willing to pay out as much as 25% of the money as a reward. That's 300000 for a lead, Joe. You're an industrial engineer, aren't you? I never graduated. That's right. Left school to enlist with the engineers. Pretty good soldier, too. Bronze star, purple heart. Try and buy a... Wow, he took a lot of bullets. Came back to resume his studies at night. Why? Why, I ask myself, would a man with such training want to take a job outside his line? To set up a touch for over a million dollars. <laughs> Didn't want to get shot anymore. <laughs> I got the job through the probation officer. You can ask him. Mr. Collins, did I ever give you any trouble when I work for you? No, Joe. And I, I shot know. him a lot. He's a, he's a tough little I bugger. <laughs> Nothing personal, you understand. It's just that, well, we sell to a lot of very conservative people. You know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. I know the flower game. See that Mr. Collins gets back. Uh, I'll go along with him. Some questions I want to ask. Smack, smack, smack! <laughs> All right, Ralph, you want it the hard way. I can fix that, too. You've got 20 years staring you right in the face. What do you want me to say, that I did it? Yeah. Well, go ahead, Mr. Martin. Damn it, I was about to, to say, your dick's got to be way <laughs> older than 20 years old. Company. <laughs> what do you think, McBride? I think you left him to me and the boys that have his confession on your desk the first thing in the morning. Well, that's I mean a good cop. Yo, definitely. I can beat him into saying whatever I want him to say. <laughs> Pro level copy. We'll be back after first thing in the morning. Whew, that was a long day of getting the shit kicked out of me. Mm. Sweet, sweet prison water. arrow they drew to show <laughs> where the 12 feet the car drove. <laughs> Looks like they're walking up to the electric chair. <laughs> Holy crap, they might be. <laughs> it's definitely not a gas chamber and he's gonna die. Wait, did he just... They, they just walked him, like, out of his cell and into his cell. I, I think the implication is they walked him out and worked him over for a while, and then brought him back. Well, then show it! So lazy. We, we get what's happening. You get what's happening. Colonel Goon here is whooping his ass. And he's holding out. We've got to turn him loose. The upstate police found a duplicate flyer truck half an hour ago. It was inside an abandoned moving van. Still doesn't clear off in my book. His part of the job could have been to use his truck as a blind. 
to draw us away from the real getaway car. I don't think they're mumbling <laughs> enough. Just give me a little more time, I'll sweat it out of them. Forget it. I think he needs to put more tobacco in his mouth. <laughs> Go. Sorry we had to detain you. You are sorry. These things happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, peep, innocent people come into our court, and you know we beat Thanks. the shit out of them. It happens. For nothing. That's how the law works. Go on, be it. Maybe you didn't hear what I said. I said for nothing. Ooh, fighting words. Beat him again. He's still in our prison. <laughs> 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 Fuck you guys. Extra! Extra! What do you read? All about the big bank sticker. Innocent man gets beat in jail. Read all about it. <laughs> read my entire erotic fan fiction. Damn, that's hot. <laughs> that's him. That's the guy. What? I Dude, wish it was James Dean. He's wearing a leather jacket. He's the bad guy. I mean, <laughs> you gotta do it, Rick. Walking into a bar you called Winkies. Rick. Winkies uh, Bar. Spot you in, Rick, but you gotta help go. Apparently, that's what the Rick. frog from Donkey Kong Country Rick. One did when he left the series. Like, would Winkies be a bone easy? Hiya, Joe. Hi, Eddie. Get you something? Yeah, two things. A cup of coffee and that information you promised me. It's like I told you. The first one is easy. Listen, Eddie. I gotta know who set me into this little deal. Did you ask him? You're leading with your chin, Joe. <laughs> so I'm leading with my chin. What have I got to lose? Look, Eddie, it's been three weeks. No job, no angle, nothing. Hey, okay. Jeez, dude. That, you're gonna pay for that coffee. <laughs> I'll get you another cup of coffee. Maybe you can not knock that one on the floor, dick. You come back tonight. Around closing time. And then we can consummate our love. I think that's why it's called Winkies. <laughs> Like, this type of affection was not cool back then. <laughs> you give the right wink and, you know, you're ready to play ball and you're going to get some ball. Here's the ball. Okay, brother, says you're in trouble, Joe. i got to find a way to clear myself. Sometimes it's tough, Joe. Sometimes it's too tough. Look, I want to know who framed me. Wasn't anyone local, that's for sure. Any ideas? No. Maybe. The mask people. Might be why Pete Harris beat it to Mexico. Pete Harris? Where in Mexico? You know, the Mexico part. Tijuana? Not Texas? with a dice roll, he's a real sucker for a crap game. Anything else? Kind of dark, got real weird eyes. You won't have any trouble finding him with the cigarettes he smokes. Just follow the chain. Watch you blind. Just follow the trail of Joe. cigarette butts to the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I love how his clues were. Yeah, he's in Mexico, he's weird looking, and he smokes cigarettes. <laughs> Should be more than enough to find him. Oh, definitely. I mean, there couldn't be more than two of those <laughs> in the country. I mean, if you kill both of them, that's a 50% success rate, so... Yeah, whatever. What kind of money was that? <laughs> ah, that was fake money. <laughs> that was Monopoly money. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you're going to get a lot of flack in the comments for that. 
Because <laughs> so. I'm pretty sure that was Mexican uh, money. <laughs> Yeah, that would make sense. If you're looking for a good time, I know all the best places in Tijuana. As long as there's a dice table. Who's he smiling at? Oh, but gambling is illegal. <laughs> but, uh, like Apparently, it's look at the road! Are We're gonna <laughs> die! <laughs> I will show you what he's good trying. God, man! <laughs> Oh, the taxi driver's still hanging out with him. Cool. I thought this would kind of be, you know, a transactional thing, but I guess we're buds now. Oh, no, he's man, just th into him, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's into him. Is he, like, 12 inches taller than that guy? At least. <laughs> Don't short shame the dude. <laughs> <laughs> you want any other spots? Si, senor, but I lose all my money. Yeah, he, but he is at like nipple, like uh, eyesight level to the other guy. Check the card game. <laughs> okay, I'll bet hands off the table. No more bets. The hell? That's a weird power move right there. <laughs> weird power. <laughs> Did you hear that one guy in the audience go, Come on, dice! I think that's something you'd say with, like, rolling dice. <laughs> Go gamble! Boxcars! That's a new uh, one for my vernacular. Yeah, I, that makes that. sense. We're adding a lot of, like, 40s and 50s slang to our knowledge base. Make him eat those words, mister. And another 20. There they go. We hope that we have introduced you to not only horrible, horrible commentation, but uh, the vernacular of a past <laughs> time. Did you say commentation? Comment commentary. Commentary? Hey, there it is. I can words. Yeah. Damn it, John. I'm trying. <laughs> Coming out on a gravy train. Gravy train? <laughs> We've heard that one before. Yeah. Does that guy have two cigarettes in his mouth? Or is it just... <laughs> oh, it's just burning weird. Hey, he's a busy man. That guy sounds like a racehorse announcer. <laughs> sounds like he doesn't literally have a mouth and all of his, you know, air is coming out of his nose. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna Dice! They lo oh, <laughs> thought they locked the door outside. What's your hurry, fella? Was he pulling it closed from the other end? Who sent you here, fella? Diaz, the cab driver. Okay, fella. Checks Don't call out? me fella. <laughs> I prefer Princess Pretty okay, Pants. You found me now. What? What's eating you? You've been giving me the fish eye. I've been giving you the fish eye. Look at your face. What's the you what's a fish eye tonight? look? You're in bad shape. That guy. That look sick. at him. That's he looks like a fish. Things. Get some rest. Let's see.
Looks like he's smelling that guy's farts, like, continuously. He is not happy. Oh, I fooled them. He thought I walked away, but I'm very clever. What's with the music? I think it's because they're in Mexico. Well, no, I mean, it's like uplifting for, like, a guy that's hiding to potentially kill another guy. Well, it kind of sounds like mariachi. Again, I think the tone should be dark. Yeah, it is a little silly. I a mean, noir. I get the I get the theme. <laughs> they are in Mexico, and this guy just hid and followed this guy, and Wizard. potentially is going to yeah, murder him. To see. Uh, look, you tell that guy. Now you and I are gonna have a little talk. You are cut. <laughs> Oh no, he knows the cop backhand! I'm the guy that drove the florist truck. I don't know what you're talking about. Take a good luck, Pete. You're looking at the Patsy with his frame for the kill. You got the wrong guy. Good cover. Lay off, will you? When you're ready to talk. You got me wrong. What'd you do with your cut, Pete? I don't follow you. You will. There's no money in there. Paper bag. You'll pay for that. Dang it, I feel bad about making fun of the music. I really you wanted him to murder much. him with mariachi uh, in the background. <laughs> Listen, It'd be especially good if bag. the band actually entered the room the and was just standing in the corner. <laughs> Damn it. What's this plane ticket? That's why. What's so interesting in Baratas? So <laughs> That's his introduction. I, I, I hope we have a fan out there that is willing to count the bitch slaps that happened in this movie. Because <laughs> I'd, I'd really like to know a final count by the end. <laughs> so you were one of them. I wonder if I could edit in a bitch slap counter at the top of this. I'm interested in this one. I mean, you're putting more work on yourself. Of course you could. Minutes, Pete. You're not gonna be on it. <laughs> Look, I gotta get the Barados. That wire means 300 grand to me. You're cut. Who set it up? I don't know. Look, we didn't have nothing against you. We didn't even know you. Cool, that makes me feel better. <laughs> Lucky me. Who else was in on it? That what made the I cop beatings acceptable. <laughs> Thought there were only three. Three in the big guy. Look, look, I'm giving it to you straight. That's the way it was planned. Slap, slap, Part slap. Business with a mask. He could know us, but none of us could know him. Get it? None of us could squeal that way if one of us didn't get away. That explains everything but this. I, I won't know what <laughs> Good cover. All right, partner. I believe him. We'll find out together. Partner. The big man set me in on this, so we split five ways. <laughs> You're kidding. If I don't split five ways, there's going to be no split at all. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, hang yourself. It'll be a pleasure. All right. So I'm moving blind, but I got you for a bird, bird dog, dog to point the way as we go along. You forget. And Even I don't know I don't nothing. Know guy. So I'm taking a chance. But remember, I'm taking no chances with you between here and Barados, partner. That's I feel like I need a phrase book for this movie. <laughs> Well, back in those days, it was a lot easier to take a hostage on an air flight. <laughs> yeah. Checking my hostage in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't mind John, everyone. 
<laughs> I want a ticket to Barados. Yes, sir. You just have time. You make connections for Barados in Mexico City. 10.30 a.m. Round trip? One way. That'll be $92, please. Oh, he must be flying Frontier. <laughs> He's going to have a miserable flight. Hey, Bunny. Oh, yeah, and those, like, plastic seats. And... The cigarette machine. Ugh. Familiar? It's literally like riding an air bus. Paris. Smells like piss. Very uncomfortable. Don't worry about this boy. You stay here. Ah! Cops! Oh, what? Whoa! Jesus Christ! Why? I nope, just... nope. This isn't him, guys. Move along. <laughs> Kill that person next. For a gun and he's clean. All worries, senior. This man's wanted for murder. This little half. Oh, Ando. What's that he's trying to say about dope? <laughs> no, no. I wasn't looking at the man that was shot in public. You haven't got a chance, Pete, but you can go out clean. He's right, Pete. Tell us about the dope. Who's down here with you? What are you doing in Mexico? Where were you going? Got anything you want to tell us? You haven't got a chance. There's a plane out there. La policía enseguida. ¿Con quién hablo? Mando una ambulancia al aeropuerto inmediatamente. Is he trying to tell us that somebody's down here with him? Sounds like it. Maybe there is. The ambulance will be here at once. <laughs> what money are you talking about? The money you stole? Yeah, cool, Pete. Come on, Pete. Time's running out. Tell us <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do with my last moments on this earth. <laughs> is help the guys who shot me. <laughs> Maybe if you tried saving my life, I'd be more... <laughs> Inclined <laughs> to divulge this information. <laughs> Honey attracts more flies than vinegar, huh? <laughs> Senor. That'd be great if they were just bitch slapping a dying guy. Your baggage is aboard the plane. Thanks. Muchísimas gracias. Buen viaje. Attention. Will Mr. Pete Harris please board the plane? Flight 589, now leaving. Jeez. That was rough. <laughs> How do you pronounce that, do you think? Borados? I've been Bor saying it, like, for the last five minutes. God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Buenos dias, senores. Ah, good morning, my customer. Good morning. It looks like maybe today is going to rain, finally. I hope so. At least it'll cool off. Then everyone can go outside and play. Buen dia, senor King. Mm. Well, now, senor Romano. I see you have found something you want. Perhaps you will like this one. Yeah. But... Don't you want to buy it? It's not bad for a bottle. How much? Only 11 American dollars. 11 bucks. But of course, senor, if you're looking for something cheap. I get nothing but the best. Then Duh. shall I wrap it into a nice package for you? <laughs> Don't bother. I bought it for a nice package. Pardon me? Que bueno. But senor, you, you're too generous. You're right. Give me that back. 11 American dollars. Huh? I will pay with love. This is what the director thinks foreplay is. <laughs> and that you can just spray it onto any store clerk and it'll work out. Oh, God. She's a jewel. The smartest girl that ever worked for me. That's the 12th time she has sold that same bottle of perfume. On that kind of business, I can afford to give her 50% commission. Who is that Vaseline? came here yesterday. You mean to tell me you've been here two hours and not met Tony Romano? Come, I'll introduce you. Don't bother. Say, Tomas, 
Why doesn't it rain if it's gonna? The one thing I have no control <laughs> What? <over laughs> the rain. <laughs> Why aren't Man. you making it rain? <laughs> though, it'll start coming down like... There was really nothing to do back That's in the day. <laughs> ah, Senor Foster. Good morning to my blame people for why it wasn't right. What's everybody so gloomy about? The weather, senor. I mean, you've got to be angry about your, like, uh, your uh, uh, ability to not be a good person to uh, someone. Nothing but sunshine and people catching That made no sense, did it? No, not at all. Fantastic. Zero percent. All depends on the bait. Senor Foster, senor Kane. How do you do, Mr. Kane? You look right at home here. Should be. Been coming down here every season for a good many years. Senor Foster, I have your tobacco for you. Oh, good, Teresa. I was almost out. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Good fishing. Thank you. Um, when are you going to try your hand at some of this fishing, Mr. Romano? In this heat? Uh-uh. I got better support. <laughs> I got some cards again tonight. I'll give you a chance to get even. Come early and bring a lot of money. In a row. We try to sprinkle in one per episode, folks. Hiya, Tim. Daddy? Glad to see you, Scott. Well, you're certainly looking in the pink. That little girl of yours, how is looking she? In oh, the oh pink. she's a big girl now. She's home preparing for her bar exams. Be a lawyer any day. It's been years since anyone's seen you around the old haunts. Yeah. Two years, one month, and eight days since I got my walking papers. Still bitter, Tim. You spend 20 years of your life being a cop and then get thrown out. What am I supposed to do, stand up and cheer? Well, maybe it was time to get out. It was beginning to affect your health. Uh, call it forced retirement. After all, your backhand well, got so weak. Retirement. How can you police without Foster. a backhand? So now we've got ourselves a new boy. That I does seem to be a requirement well, for the police was, you've been uh, sure. in this film. You only stir up old memories. Uh, how about that urgent telegram to meet you here? How far did you ever get on that Southwest bank job? Exactly nowhere. Bang job? You must bank. be hearing plenty from the front office oh. on that one. <laughs> Thank you, sorry. You don't know the half of it. Every bank in the country is on the alert to spot the serial number of those bills. And up to now, not one of them has turned up. Every bang in the country. How'd you like to crack that, Jim? God damn it. <laughs> How would I like to find oil in my backyard? I don't know, but I might be able to deliver that gang to you. You wouldn't fool an old friend, Tim. Might not be anything, and then again, it could be just what you're looking for. I've been watching a couple of strange characters drift in here, one at a time. Name Boyd Kane mean anything to you? Kane? Well, yeah, I want him for a jewelry store holdup. I knew that when I sent you the wire. Who else? A prize package by the name of Tony Romano. Should fit into a touch like that bank job. They're playing it like they don't know each other. But it's an old act any cop could spot, so I listened. Yeah, but there's supposed to be three of them. That's where it begins to make sense. Third one's due to arrive. That ties in. Anything else? The talk is about a money split. Big money. The kind that could have come out of that Southwest bank job. What a sweet break. They get together for a split and put their necks right into a noose. That guy's creeping me out, dude. Him? Keep out of sight until I call you. You better line up the police. Where can I reach you? El Nacional. Thanks, Tim. Good. You, uh, any idea how much reward this will bring in? Well, it should be plenty. 25% of what the insurance companies stand to lose. And that's over a quarter of a million. Throw in some bang stuff that's and I'm down. Money. And you're the cop they said was played out. Eat me. Oh, jeez, he holds that hand gesture. <laughs> Looked like he was crossing his fingers at him. He, I don't think there was a like mixture of the peace sign and the middle finger, right? <laughs> Very mixed message. <laughs> Bienvenido, senorita. Senor. Gracias. Ooh, it is hot. Uh, what is this? Humidity? <laughs> Humid? Oh, yeah. Do you like it? Nice. Where did he find a woman? Ah, oh, 
I don't want to answer that question. Take care of your guest, amigo. But of course, if the senor wants to sign the register. You are from Tijuana, Mexico, senor. I have a married sister living there. Yeah. Tomaso, déjeme a mí. Yo le enseño. Come with me, senor. I will show you which bungalow oh, is yours. Imagine wearing like a suit and a hat see you later. during the summer in Mexico. My pleasure. Ooh, buddy. Oh, thank you. That's why all these people are so fit. They're just sweating off everything. <laughs> That's why they can drink alcohol all day long. They just sweat it out. Oh, that works too, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even touch oh! their system. That guy had highlight vision. <laughs> Not bad at all. I am Teresa. I sell souvenirs. You are here for fishing? I'm here for a vacation. That is good. Then you have come to the right place. Chick is so thirsty. Just for anyone who walks in the door. I, I don't know why, but I really want her to, like, bend him over and peg him. Whoa. Well, if, 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 this was gonna, there. if this video wasn't going to be demonetized already, I think I solidified uh, Yeah, I think that made it a lock. And the other phone? You mean Sierra Romano? Now that one. He is very But I mean, you could see it, right? I mean, look at her. Thanks. No, dude. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> you won't forget about the souvenir. Whoa. What's a vacation without souvenirs? Like shooting fish in a barrel. Oh, yeah, she's gonna send him home with a beaten up uh, brown starfish for sure. <laughs> God. <laughs> At least I tried to make it more PG. <laughs> Might as well run with it. Uh, that was more PG? I could have used more crass words. Like the words you used before. Oh, I yeah. see. <laughs> what luck? Helen. Ah. Oh, this is his daughter. Okay. Minute, I thought you weren't glad to see me. Glad to see you. You know I'm always glad to see you, Punkin. But you come barging in here. What are you doing here? You. I thought you had a lot of studying. How'd you do. find me? I've got news, Dad. Important news. There's nothing more important than your law exams. Sure there is. You are. That's why I'm here. Even I hate school. Has its advantages. I set up a brief and brought it to the mayor myself. You sound just like a lawyer. Let's have the facts. All right, Dad, facts. I got the commissioner to reopen your case. My public Didn't nudity you case. It? It's a chance mm -hmm. for you to get back on the force. Forget it. It's too late. I don't want to get back on the force. Oh, now look, Dad. This is your daughter, Helen. Don't fool me. Is that who you are? You Where am I? Retirement through politics. This is your chance to come back. You're not going to let pride get in the way. Yes, yes I am. Thanks. Now you're going to turn right around and go home to those law books. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm taking a week's vacation with study. Besides, I kind of like a young man who just checked in. His name is Pete Harris. Oh. But I wanted to do that guy. <laughs> Our husbands. Fishing all day and sleeping all night. This is supposed to be our vacation. If they only stay awake. I wouldn't even mind if they play poker. Remember, Olsen? They're tired out from fishing? Austin. Must have weighed 140 if you weighed a pound. Up ten. Just yeah. Just uh, huh. softened up, ready to land. The leader Look, breaks out. Right. Right now, we're playing stud. Not the Remember? toughest activity. The man just boosted a 10. Oh, sorry. It's, I guess it's marginally more physical than sitting, ahead, but... Deal. Or, like, golf. Oh. Well, golf, you have to stand up a lot. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Maybe. You're high, bet you're queens. Check to you. Check. We were the tired of... Bonds! J oh, 25. wait, no. Wrong movie. Just see. Jack and Jill. Three-fourths. How do you like that guy? Souvenir, senor? Oh, senor Harris. Que tal? Come on over and take a hand. Well, I think your daughter was just about to give me a hand, but okay. Sit down, I'll give you a stack of chips. Shall I deal you in? <laughs> so we definitely have a theme well, for this movie. <laughs> Senor Aris. Demonetization. Senor <laughs> all the time. Senor Romano, you lose all the time. Mm. Senor Morelli, he worries more about fishing. <laughs> look at that guy smoking. <laughs> in the morning, you don't let that boy scout look at Foster's fool you. He's had me on the hook ever since I've been here. He's dynamite. His daughter warned me about it. I promise to be careful. He hasn't learned a man should never press bad luck. Yeah. What? Expect to be around this tank a while? I don't know. A while, maybe. Where are you from? Kansas City. Originally. Ah! Say confidential. There's no girl there. Swell cook. You gonna bet that ace of yours? Uh, yeah. Five skins just to bring in the suckers. I'm in. Uh, by me. Just make a ten to keep them out. See what I mean? I'll call. Looks like you've got yourself a pigeon. Always room for one more, Tony. Well, if you can cash me in. I think I owe you about ten dollars. You're not quitting so early. Sure. I thought I'd take a walk through the village before I turn in. Don't walk too fast. You'd be out of town without even seeing it. Ten dollar is right, Senor Harris. Come back some more. We need loser player. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Bum. My good luck piece. <gasps> Even near the biggest pot I ever sat in on. Well, I don't think he noticed. Maybe you could rub it on his face a little. See you later, gentlemen. Good night, night. senor. <laughs> Look, John, the movie's doing things. Yeah. Yep. Still can't see through that window. <laughs> what is that? He had a mask strapped to his freaking ankle. <laughs> Just in case he got in a tight spot and needed to fight him off with a mask. It's a weird place to put a mask. I mean, what do you think that would smell like if you had to like strap it on really quick? Probably like a shin. You know, that shin smell? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jackass. Uh, you know, Brandon, that thing the shin smell like? You know the place that he put it on? Shit! Shit, Brandon! From where it was? That would probably be what the smell would be. Shinny, if you will. What if he just kept continuously pissing himself, John? <laughs> well, presumably... <laughs> Yeah, what if? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I got some footing back. <laughs> <laughs> what if he had his uh, catheter tubing hooked up to the mask instead of the bag on the well, other chin? Well, then it chin? would smell like shit, John, yet. <laughs> Come on! Okay, I think we've covered all of our options. Let's uh, focus on the movie for a second. I mean, we can keep, like, expanding on this until they start talking again. No. What if he... Uh, what if you think he ate a bunch of asparagus and then pissed all over it? <sighs> <laughs> Nothing's happening, John. <laughs> Things are happening, Brandon. See, it would probably smell the same as if he didn't eat asparagus, is what you're saying, yeah. No. So what would it smell like, Jed? 
past. <laughs> it would smell like asparagus piss, everybody. I... <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed Brandon on the riffraff. <laughs> So I'm going to take him out in the desert and shoot him. You know kind of where to find me. I hope that there will be some justice to my murder. No justice for you. I'll just play <laughs> back that brown starfish comment and they'll be like, yeah, probably better off. And he says freaking desert. It's probably going to be like you know, the snow-capped uh, <laughs> <you know, laughs> wastelands of Antar Antarctica. Just uh, throw him off. <laughs> Oh, backhand! How about another backhand? Thank God we can start talking about things other than asparagus piss. Yes, thank God. <laughs> well, I think you've had enough backhands. I'll see myself out. What's the idea of tossing my joint? I didn't mean nothing. I figured you meant to give me the office when you dropped that. Oh, card. that's Lee Van Cleef, incidentally. What's with oh. you, Joe? Look, I had to be sure before I cracked. Go on. It don't take no big thinking to figure a couple of guys like us ain't in this Bananaville on a vacation. Bananaville? Yeah. I'm just going for my wallet. And I'm just backhanding you. Whoosh. I wouldn't hate an entire movie of just people bitch slapping one another. <laughs> you must have been one of the guys in the van. Yeah. You were outside doing the driving. Uh huh. I'm uh, sorry I had to rough you up. Duh. Just give the guy oh, he. I'd feel. Oh. I'd have done the same in your spot. One will get you ten. I got the other guy uncovered, too. Who? Kane. Could be. Two more days and we'll be living it up. Just think. Over 300,000 smackers. If we get it. What do you mean, if? Let's not kid ourselves. We don't even know who he is. We wouldn't know where to find him if he didn't show up. Well, why would he bring us here if he ain't leveling? Search me. Screw with us? But I don't like working for someone I don't know. Especially if he can recognize me and I can't recognize him. Neither do I. So let's do it. How about this guy, Kane? I mean, just kidding. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Unless. Are you kidding? That gum chewing character? Could be an act. Yeah. Could be. Bum, bum, bum. You know, I think I'll get myself some gum. Yeah. Gotcha. Gum sounds great. I haven't had dinner. I can see things. Oh, it's Big Evil! With his eyebrows! How can you tell he's not wearing the mat? Oh! That was Big Evil. <laughs> ah! That's Hi, not Derek. what's his name. Is he just staring at people on his frickin' terrace? <laughs> Hi. How'd you make up? A few more hands and your father would break me. <laughs> well, don't say I didn't warn you. It's all right. You didn't? I'll get even tomorrow night. Now, that's one thing I don't understand about men. What's that? Well, you work hard all year and do nothing but talk about your vacation. And when it comes, you sit indoors and play cards. Yeah, yeah because Doesn't working work, sucks. <laughs> A lot of things don't figure. Like, for instance? Well, for instance, what you do all year. I, I deliver flowers. 
Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I guess I should have brought Shit. along a deck of cards instead of a swimming suit. You ass! Oh, so you did the right yeah. thing. You can swim too. <laughs> like you play cards. I'll tell you what, I'll meet you at the pool tomorrow morning. You teach me, and I'll teach you. That's a deal. He just wants to see her in a bikini. Yeah. Check. <laughs> and soon he will make her. His mate. Oh man, I'm having Mako flashbacks. Thanks. Yeah, Colonel Sanders looking real good on you today. Man, how <laughs> how many like uh, pieces of paper do you have to rip to get to this page? <laughs> <laughs> Always gotta do stuff, this and that. Did she bring her books to the pool? I, I believe so. Nerd. You dig it. I mean, I enjoy, like, the illiterate chick, but, you know, John's one of those book guys. Good morning. Good morning. God. Oh, <laughs> that's a bold day. swimsuit choice. On the day. Let's see. Civil Code of the State of Missouri Rules and Procedure. Missouri? Translation. I'm cramming for the bar exam. No cracks, please. Don't tell me you're opposed to the higher education of the female. No, it's uh, just that you don't look like a lawyer to me. Well, I found that people rarely look like what they are. Now, take yourself, for instance. Does that swimsuit have hair on probably, nipples? Um, a fisherman. Instead, you're probably. No. Um, are you sure? You like it if I were a salesman? Oh, look, I'm the one that's supposed to get the answer. You like they that don't salesman the right look? Place, but... I've always heard that the best witnesses are the ones who, who want to answer. Well, thanks for the advice. I got some more for you, and for free, too. Always arrange to have your cases tried in front of all male juries. You can't lose, kid. <laughs> hey, you're beginning to sound promising again. Hey, there's some goon in your yard. That's a friendly I goon. I left my cigarettes up the cabin. I'll be right back. Oh, Mr. Harris? <laughs> you dropped your gun. Iceman? <laughs> I guess I'll read all three of these books at the same time. Good. Perfect bookmark. I feel so powerful now. Let's go killin'. I always hated that pool maid. Morning, Mr. Foster. Oh, hello. How about some cards tonight? Oh, I can't. I gotta Too busy that. banging your Although daughter. I'm Woo! She never get to be one if she's kept from her studies. She has to eat sometime. Why don't you join us? I'd like to. Good, I'll see you then. Yeah, this has been a weird riff. <laughs> Are you gonna, like, turn the car on, or...? <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and brood for a while. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> totally believable fight scene. <laughs> Look at that. What? Well, he went for the dick kick. Back hit. Head oh, claw. Yep. Oh, dick punch. punch <laughs> the yeah. Damn it! You beat me to it. <laughs> 
Mm, but he seems to like it. Ugh. Thank you. Delicious. Get up. You hear what he said, Palsy? Smart Why does everyone look so moist? That was the 50s. People were just moist. What the hell was that? I think he hears you now. See? Because I slapped his eardrums out of existence. <laughs> My superpower. Cooperating. Ain't you Watch a man in the dick enough, he'll cooperate with anything. What is this? Smart boy here wants to know what is this. <laughs> he knows. Leave me for a sucker, palsy. I don't like that. Back in. Indeed. You're crazy. Guy in the background forgot what he was doing. I think he's just... I'll pinpoint it for you, chum. Pete Harris and me did a deuce together, Joliet. That makes you a phony. Now we're going that to dude nice make a great life. 1950s joker. When we get to the right place, you're going to tell us the story <laughs> of your life. I don't move. Look at that crazy yeah, stare. <laughs> yeah, pretty nothing. good. Smart boy wants it done quiet. Smart boy wants it done quiet. <laughs> Come in. Oh no, smart boy talked. Oh, pardon me, I didn't know. Kill her! Talking. That's all right. Come oh, on. I didn't realize you were being beaten. Miss Foster, you know Mr. Romano? Mr. Kane. I've seen Mr. Romano around. How do you do, Mr. Kane? Hello. <laughs> they were trying to talk me into taking a walk with them. I explained we had a date. Oh, I don't mind. I told them you wouldn't. Just a couple of nature lovers. We were chatting about it when you knocked. Mm. Well, it must have been a very warm discussion. Oh, uh, <coughs> well, I just dropped in to return this to you. Thanks. <laughs> I hardly the tables missed. have turned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's amazing. Just pop those two and be done with it. Yeah. He's got a gun now. I guess we can't just bitch slap him. A sure cure for a nosebleed. A cold knife in the middle of the back. Thanks, I'll have to try that. Hey, wait a minute. Nice guys. Playful. Do you normally bleed out of that many holes? Don't bother making up any stories for me. I mean, not, not that many. I said a man was innocent until proven guilty. I'm a gentleman, after That's all. Right. But I do bleed out of various holes. If you were my attorney, how would you advise me to answer? Super. I'd really not to answer at all. Unless you could answer honestly. It might incriminate you. Right. Now you're giving me some good advice. Thanks. And for free. All right. My booze. Gasoline. Jo I mean, <laughs> the man's got I hope problems. He's not it. <laughs> you just throw a rag on. <laughs> oh, that's how he spends his weekends sniffing gasoline on a rag in the back of his car. I understand this character at a deeper level now. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, shit. What? Don't want to get gasoline on the money. I, I guess he's smuggling it? I mean, he is oh, smuggling it. Oh! Twisty! I love it! <laughs> I 
I'm just imagining this guy high on gasoline fumes, driving with a shit ton of money and like a a, a hidden bit in the truck. And... <laughs> Bugs Bunny told me to do this. All right, buddy. We're going to get you some help. There! More gasoline fumes! <laughs> Dear police, I took all the money. Suck it. Love me. <laughs> Please love me. So alone. Gasoline fumes messing with brain. Not Gas sure how long can hold out. <laughs> Gasoline fumes only friend now. <laughs> I am bad at cards. So what was like the ripped up like uh, cards bit like? Because at first it was like, oh, anyone can freaking rip up a card, but it's like, no, it has to, it has to match this rip or whatever. Oh, Senor King, I have been looking. Yep, I think that's exactly it. She smells like a business one. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Oh God. I'm a stereotype. The director knows not a lot about the Mexican people. Buenas <laughs> my customers. Buenas tardes. Ah, Senor Romano, a letter for you. This one, she also smells like a business one. What? I guess he smells a lot of mail. You, Senor Eric. Oh, thanks. You're very welcome. He's developed that skill. <laughs> He's pretty lonely. But he likes to think that he can smell love. I smell love from the people who send postcards to one another. I expect you to get him some solid study tonight. Well, isn't that nice of you? How's that, Mr. Foster? Thanks for that and the dinner. Don't forget, I may ask questions tomorrow. Well, I'll look forward to it. Good night. Tony, you're not even looking at how pretty they are. And only 11 American dollars. Yeah, everything around here is 11 bucks. Why does... Tony, she's trying to sell him earrings? <laughs> Charge him with the rest. Right. Tony. See you later. Ah! You got your invitation, Tony. Yeah. How about your friend out there? He get his too? Let's go ask him. What, did you forget I have a gun? Hawken? It isn't often I butt into your affairs, but I'm gonna make like a father. You sound serious. Where you're concerned, I'm always serious. I want you to forget that fellow. <laughs> but I'm not serious now. Him, Neither do you. Right in there. Wow. In the tree? My goodness. <laughs> Well, this went well. It's mass, buddy. Drop the gun on the well, Kane. Do as he tells you. <laughs> Still hold on to the cigarette. And no one. Oh, there, oh, there it goes. We go. Do it. Took him a while. Now it's serious. <laughs> don't. Don't. Uh. I, I get rid don't. Of it. Drop it. Drop it. <clears throat> What is the lag in this guy's brain? Don't shoot in the well. Is he like 15, 20 seconds behind current events? There it goes, okay. I'm still breathing really hard. 
Now you're gonna listen to me. Unless you want to join the guns in the well. I got my invitation to the party. I take Pete Harris here. You gave Harris the double shuffle. You got it wrong, pal. Double shuffle. The cops paid him off in full. Like the double stuffle? A man puts up his he turned him into an Oreo? He's to be paid off if he wins. Oh, Harris I think you're thinking of double stuffed. What did you put up? Mm. Oreos. A possible 20 years in stuff. Mm. Oreos. You're looking at the guy who was framed for the job. What's happening? That's why I'm cutting myself in whether you like Oreos? it or not. Oreos? You're smart. Ah. Oh, You'll play man, I hope so. You're not. It goes rough on everybody. Those two are going to double stuff. You talk awfully <laughs> green for a smart guy. The other guy. <laughs> what happens when Mr. Big sees you? Let's wait till we get to that, huh? Now, you two boys make like friends. Go to sleep. And Go double on. stuff me. Double up that cream. Was about visiting me later. Forget it. This isn't I about you, like you it. or me. It's about us. Now double stuff me. <laughs> I've been a bad cookie, and I need to be stretched out by filling. Come back! <laughs> Why does that never work? I feel I need to work on my double stuff speech. I feel like it's just missing something. It's close, but there's just an element that's I not there. I never double stuffed, so something's not happening. That My I life is happen. pain. <laughs> double stuff? We're double surely stuff. gonna get that Oreo sponsorship money. Simple. I came looking for you. <laughs> now couldn't we? It's, a matter of it's just so appetizing. I just don't like anybody running out on me twice in the same day. Oh, I see. Well, you see, after I got the letter... I told you, you didn't have to make up any stories for me. That's right, you did. Look, Pete, I know I may be butting into something I shouldn't, but that's the way I am. Even when I was a kid, I was always the one asking questions. <laughs> Bet you even cross-examined your nurse, huh? <laughs> you know, if I was smart, I'd find myself another date and forget all about you. Only I can't And I'm here, and I'm now... Time. I want to double stuff. I like it better this Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm no fool, Pete. I've been around cops long enough to pick up a few tricks of the trade. Those playmates of yours are pretty obvious. What have they got on you? One question at a time. Especially in cops, where'd you pick that up? Oh, my father's a retired captain of police. Oh, I see. That explains your being a lawyer. Papa nails them and you free him, is that oh, it? What's that got to Look, do with Look, you're it? a nice girl, but in case you're thinking of mothering me, forget it. I'm no stray dog you can pick up, and I like my neck without a collar. Now get lost. Dang. Now I'm supposed to be hurt. Maybe even cry. But I won't. I think you're in trouble, and I'm going to help you. Listen, sister. Forget it. Jeez, dude. Mind your own business. Fuck that guy! <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sorry what? for trying to help. Why can't I accept love? Man, I suck. <laughs> or do I? <laughs> and you move in. You got it now, Stan. They meet out on the boat tomorrow at dawn for the split. I wait out on the police boat for your light signal, then I move in. And you answer my signal first. Right. Scott? Yeah. Don't miss. Don't worry. I will. I only miss 80% of the time. <laughs> That's why I've only got two children. <laughs> trying to do that math in my head. Better leave this open and just walk away. Well, I'm 
Washington. Hi, Dad. You wore your evil suit. I've been waiting for you, Dad. Had a little problem? How could this yeah. get more evil, John? You used to have them pretty often when you were younger. He could have a monocle. Troubling you. <laughs> Unlike I a, 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 a pencil mustache. Very, tough problems I used to bring to you very good. Oh, very tough. Some new trinket you wanted and money for the movies. That time you get into your first formal, your boat came down with the measles. <laughs> that was a tough one. Finally had to take you out myself that night. <laughs> now he's smoking. That's evil. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Once you even wanted to know when we'd get your new ma to look after you. Oh, that was a real tough one. Most of them know we were able to work out. You were right about Harris, Dad. He's in a jam. Oh? I forgot to tell you, you used to take my advice. In those days, you wouldn't have gone running after him if I'd asked you not to. I want you to help him, Dad. That way you'll be helping me. Why? Professional interest? <laughs> Why would I help you, you my really favorite know, daughter? Something's happened. That's not how this works. Well, I know it sounds crazy and illogical, but that's the way it is. He's out of bounds for you, Helen. Way out of bounds. You said that before. Why? Isn't it enough that I tell you? Not this time. All right. He's an ex-con. I just didn't want to hit you over the head with it. What else do you know about him? Isn't that enough? No, it's not. There's more. There's got to be more. You wouldn't be so positive if there weren't something... What else have you got against him? You're going home. He loves long walks on the beach. Is that the way you and he hates masks. I, I love masks. For your own good. Is it? Believe me. Believe me, Punkin. Go home and forget him. Punkin has a P in it. You bastard. You start the ball rolling on that rehearing. And I'll Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Helen. Oh, yeah, you're right. See, you learn stuff on this channel. I do. I hope anyone else listening doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I got my snazziest bit of toilet paper in my front pocket. And I'm covering myself in my own urine. Uh... <laughs> Look, I'm trying to be more honest, John. Oh, that was personal commentary, I see. Yes. Very good. <laughs> that checks out. We will, uh... We'll have to edit that one out. <laughs> <laughs> that is a rakish angle for that hat to be at. I have no idea what rakish angle means. Rakish... Ra rakish angle. Thank you, ass. <laughs> rakish angle. Yeah. What? So, what does that mean? Well, you know what angle means, right? Yeah. So, what does rakish <laughs> like adds the fucking add an angle? Sort of like a roguish, rebellious. Element. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for deliberately trying to make me... What the hell? <laughs> what did I walk in on? I'm going to come back in five minutes. We'll get back to the rage shangle bit. <laughs> Woof. No, what? No one's watching. <laughs> that, that, that guy is in that other guy, right? <laughs> Hey guys, I was gonna shoot you, but it just seems unfair now. Let's hold it. Ow! You never learn, will you? <laughs> Good morning. Don't tell me you boys are going fishing too. Yeah, we see you get such a kick out of it, we decided to give it a try. Great sport. I'm on my way to the pier. Can I give you a lift? You got yourself a passenger. Well, 
Might as well take us all, seeing as the three of us are going fishing. Oh, did you rent a boat? Yeah. We got <laughs> a boat called the Manana. Okay. Well, see you later, I guess. <laughs> So, uh, should we turn on the radio? Sing a song? No, I, I think we should turn off the lights in the background because we are driving at night and it's apparently day outside. <laughs> Wait, I know a good song. 99 bottles of beer on the... Oh, cool! Yeah, they're smoking. No, the double exposure shot there. That was great. Ah. Hey, we'll be able to match fish stories tonight, huh? Sure, I'll bring... <laughs> We're going to match fish stories today? <laughs> it's a different time. A horrible, horrible time in California. It How long have they been driving? <laughs> Into morning, at least. I mean... <laughs> brakes, 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 brakes! Ah! So this is what the bottom of the ocean looks like. Quite a boat. I thought it would be wetter. Yeah. Any kind of luck, we all ought to do pretty good. Coming here. The guy just constantly, like, threatening the other guy. Good luck. Thanks. Mr. Evil turned out to be evil. That can't be right. <laughs> You're right. It's probably pronounced evil or evil. No, he's a good guy. Too. You can tell by the eyebrows. <laughs> I've got a horrible eyebrow. Don't do that. You don't have eyebrows like that. <laughs> Those are like Dracula eyebrows, except ten times bushier. <laughs> That's Dracula eyebrows if he mated with the Wolfman. That, that doesn't make them inherently evil. I mean, no, no, it does. Oh. The, the same genes that have that level of eyebrow arch and density are also the same genes that uh, code for evil. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, science uh, fact. Folks still listening, uh, John wants to create a perfect race of humans. What? <laughs> He is slowly distinguishing <laughs> what oh, attributes are good and bad. Hmm. Via his Dracula eyebrows uh, description. The matter, pals, hey man, talk. it's accurate. <laughs> I, I love how that doesn't defend your point at all. Not quite. <laughs> I got a proposition. I know where the money is. Like, I'm ready? not doing that. It's accurate. I'll show you. All right. Look for yourself. Right in the cupboard there. Go ahead, look. Oh, jeez. What's he gonna find? All of my Christmas presents. You Thank weren't you supposed to peek. Pow, 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 pow. Thank you. I got to take four ways when we only have to cut it two. It's over a half a million apiece. Over half a million. Why split with Kane? Okay, don't. Oh, indigestion! No, oh, it keeps hitting me in waves! Diarrhea. Man, that I told him he shouldn't have eaten that gas station sushi. Why a two -way split? Dude needs Pepto Bismol. A guy living big all the time like me needs, though. 
So long, sucker. Stop it, Tony. Right in front of you. Kick it over here. <laughs> Move back. <laughs> Just back grab back. it. How? <laughs> I don't get it. You will. Just take it easy till the police get here. Little falling out over the split. You get around a lot for a fisherman. Part of my job. Thanks, cop. Making out like he knows from nothing. All depends on what the assignment calls for. You never had a chance. We had the big guy from the beginning. Don't let that bother you, Tony. It was all marked anyway. We should have figured that. That's right, Joe. The name is Pete. Uh, like in Pete Harris, who was shot and killed in Tijuana? Yep, that's the one. Mm. We've, we've killed a lot of Pete's. <laughs> Something we've been working our Joe? way through the phone book. Yeah. The only person who would know Pete Harris was in Tijuana would be the one who sent him there to hide out. Wait for a wire. Oh. Bom, bom, You're a boy bom. with a lot of ideas. You're a boy with a lot of ideas. I know you couldn't use a million two in hot cash, but you could trade it in for a nice, clean reward. Got it all figured out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Little patsies, one down, two to go. You're being there to give us a lift, the money on a platter. Honey for the bees, huh, Captain Foster? Stay where you are. Sure, sure. We'll wait till the cops arrive. I feel bad for Try anyone who's not the native-speaking English wrong. user. Who Follow tries to watch this movie? <laughs> oh, that'd be tough, yeah. Ooh, the sushi. Ooh. It's going up. <laughs> Run, boys! <laughs> Before it consumes us all, it's the too late for me. <laughs> the ship's going down. Haha, -ha, my head's not there. Oh wait, my head's kinda there. Oh god. Oh, oh. Oh jeez, oh boy. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh my god. gosh. Oh gosh. Oh you bet. Oh it didn't happen to you. Oh it was eyebrows. Oh. Look at that, you. Hey buddy. Are they all sad that no one died? So, uh, I'll just take the money then? Cool. Uh, I have a yeah. bullet hole there. My luck had to give out sometime. It's good for both of us. Yes. Yes. I wouldn't mind so much, Joe. Helen didn't have to find out. Wow, he's really letting it loose. <laughs> you got a break coming. And please don't mind the smell. It's involuntary. Tim, what's happened? Are you hurt? And what's that what's smell? Ralph doing here? Don't shame him. He's died. Save him. Surprise for you. It was his lead turned the trick. Only it didn't come off the way we planned it. Did it, Joe? was Pete Harrison. Burned down in Tijuana. Scott, if anybody deserves a reward, it's him. Let's get him to a doctor. Well, give her my love, Joe. Thanks. feel the loss of your father as keenly as you do. And After no all, I was his did. daughter, too. If there's anything that you ever need, will you call on me? Thanks, Mr. Andrews. 
Oh, and one other thing about Joe Rolfe. He's a fine boy. That scrape he got into a long time ago, he's more than made up for it. And the way I feel, my company will underwrite him any time. I tried so hard to make Dad understand. You did, Helen. The last thing he said was for Joe to give you his love. Of course, Joe was working his head like a puppet, so... You know. How is she taking it, Mr. Andrews? Pretty good, Joe. She's had time to get over the shock. But a hero's medal isn't enough when you're alone. She and Dad were pretty close. I told her about you. What'd she say? She said, Why gross, you. you. Character development definitely led up to this moment. <laughs> it wasn't just your typical 50 movie, 50s movie where everyone gets shot and then they get together for some reason. Wait, no, what? sir. <laughs> right, it wasn't that at all. It was Something else, where, yeah. Where, where people got projectiles. Uh, <laughs> I did like Throwing our take on it better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then fell into mutual uh, admiration. Uh, <laughs> completely you know, different. <laughs> completely different, yeah. That was that was all right. That was not bad. I mean, we've 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 got a really low bar going right now. Um, that was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I you know, I feel like towards the end it kind of fell off the wagon a little bit, but that first part where he's like, "Hey, I want to find out, you know, the guys that framed me," and he kind of takes that one guy's place. It had some moments that I was like legitimately like uh um happy about watching this movie, but like yeah. overall, no. I uh... <laughs> I got to disagree. I thought it was all right. All right. Yeah. And I definitely <laughs> never mind. Uh, I, I think my you. my favorite part of the whole movie was uh, when he was in the car with the guys uh, driving to the boat, and they do that double exposure when he flicks his cigarette lighter on, that like was like he's cool. seeing their reflection behind him in the windshield. Yeah, oh my god! Into it. Yeah, that was incredible. That was so cool. That was cool. I mean, the editing was great. I, I'm not a huge fan of, like, uh, yeah, the uh, writing really. Uh, Fair enough. You know what else I liked? The 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 woman in the movie, you know, she was ambitious and intelligent, you know? She's training to become a lawyer. I feel like that's kind of uh, uh, unique for... A role model for that, like, day and age. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You don't see that too often. Yeah. Yeesh. Well, cool. Uh, anything else you got for it, Brandon? Ah, uh, not really. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's wrap it up then. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you're into this kind of thing. And we'll catch we'll you next catch time. You later. Bye. Bye.